Hi everyone, Angela here. Start by cutting out and joining the pattern pieces for the top tie and the optional solid band for the bottom. This is the pattern piece for the bottom band if you want to join different fabrics together. Trace this out of template plastic if you want to fussy cut your fabric. For this project I'm using 100% quilting cotton. Fold your fabric, preferably along the lengthwise grain, and place the pattern along the fold. Make sure not to use any of the selvage edges and cut out. If it isn't already, fold the fabric with right sides together and then mark out the opening on the center of the edges. If you need to, pin or clip all around. To cut smaller fabric pieces, I like to use my 28mm rotary blade. Cut out the pieces for the bottom band and arrange them in the order that you want and then if you need to, pin or clip the seams with right sides together. I'm using a Brother NV50S sewing machine. The link for this and the tools I use are in the description below. Make sure to use coupon code NOTCHESNV50S for the special offer. Stitch the seams using a quarter inch or six millimeter seam allowance. No need to back tack, just continue stitching about an inch of thread between each seam. Once done, trim your threads leaving about half an inch at each end. For the top tie, start your stitching from the fold using a quarter inch seam allowance again. Begin by back tacking and stitch until your quarter of an inch or six millimeters from the edge. With the needle down, lift the presser foot and pivot. Continue stitching until you get to the first mark of the opening and back tack. Raise the needle and foot, skip over to the other mark, back tack, continue stitching, pivoting at the corner and then back tacking again when you get to the other fold. Trim your threads and then trim all the corners on an angle, making sure not to cut any of the stitching. Turn it right side out and then use a knitting needle or point turner to poke out all the corners. Neatly adjust the opening, center all the seams and then press all around. Starting at this opening, edge stitch all around, back tacking at the start and finish. Give it another quick press, fold it in half with the points lined up, and then press in a center crease. Next press open all the seams on the bottom band. I'm adding this rickrack to the top and bottom edges. It measures 5 eighths of an inch or 16 millimeters wide, but you can use half inch or narrower. Place the rickrack on top of the fabric with a little bit extra at the end, and line up the edges on the side. We need to stitch right down the center of the rickrack, which can be a little bit tricky, so just take your time. I'll use the side of the foot as a guide and position the needle in the center. On this machine, it's number four. Stitch right down the middle. When you get to the other end, cut the rickrack a little bit longer than the fabric and then repeat on the other side. Lift up the rickrack and fold the seam to the back, then press the fabric edges flat on both sides. If you're finding this video helpful, make sure to like, share, subscribe and turn on all notifications and also leave a comment below. Use any size tea towel, this one is 20 inches or 50 centimeters wide. On the right side of the towel, use a vanishing ink pen or some chalk and mark a line 2.5 inches or 6.5 centimeters up from the bottom edge. Turn the towel over and fold in half lengthwise with the wrong sides together and make a crease in the center. Open it up again to the wrong side and then mark a line along that crease. On the front of the towel, find the center of that bottom line by folding the towel in half and mark it. Next, center the bottom band onto that line and pin in place. Put your pins in vertically along both edges in the center of each piece. Fold in the end of the band so it's even with the side of the towel and pin it in place. You may need to trim some off the end of your band if your towel is narrower. On the back, fold the end of the rickrack on a 45 degree angle and clip in place. This way, the raw edges will be sewn into the seam. 
Repeat on all the corners. Starting at the bottom corner of the bed, edge stitch all around, back tacking at the start and finish. Make sure the ends of your rickrack are caught inside the seam. Next set to the longest stitch length and your top thread tension to zero. Then pull out your top and bobbin thread so you have about four or five inches. On the wrong side of the towel, we'll be stitching to the left and also to the right of this center line and we'll just use the side of the presser foot as a guide. There's no need to back tack and I'm just using a contrast thread so you can see what I'm doing. Just stitch beside the line and when you get to the other end, pivot around and stitch down the other side. At the end of the stitch line, leave a long tail before trimming your thread. Open up the top band and then place the right side of the towel on top. Match the center line of the towel without the loose threads with the center crease of the top band and pin it in place. On the other side, you can see that the stitches of the top thread are nice and loose because we had the tension on zero. Separate the two top threads from the bobbin threads and then pull on the two bobbin threads together to gather up the fabric. This should be pretty easy with the loose stitches. Gather up until it's about the same width as the band and then pin those edges in place. Keep the hems on either side flat, but gather up some more and adjust all the gathered fabric until everything looks nice and even. Then place a couple more pins through that center line. Sewing two stitch lines for gathering gives you a lot more control of the fabric. If you like the look of this towel, you may want to have a look at my tutorial for a matching patchwork bowl cozy. Readjust your tension and the stitch length. Stitch right down that center line, back tacking well at the start and finish, making sure that you're catching the edges of both the towel and the top band. To give this towel a bit more strength, pivot around and stitch right on top of the previous stitch line and back tack to finish. Carefully cut a gathering stitch on either side of the center stitch line and then on the other side cut the bobbin thread on either side. Now gently pull out all those threads. If you have any light marks from the gathering, just give it a little bit of steam to remove them. To hang this towel, loop the band from the back over your handle, cross with the front of the band and tie a half knot. Pretty up the ends and it really does stay in place. To remove, just pull on the center. Thanks again for watching, make sure to check out my new video up next.